Hi guys, welcome to Educating Shani. I'm Shani and I have an eating disorder. Hi Shani, hi. So guess what happened? You probably already know if, if you've read the title of this video. But anyway, I got 100 subscribers on YouTube. I passed 100 subscribers on YouTube and I'm so excited about it. That's my very first milestone on YouTube and that's a big deal for me. A lot of pe people out there um, wouldn't think that 100 subscribers is very much and I know that it's not very much compared to the rest of the YouTube world but I don't care dude to me a hundred people that's a buttload of people that are behind me supporting me rallying behind me and, and, and uplifting me and being there for me every single week watching my videos and commenting and sharing and sending me uplifting messages and oh, I'm just I'm just so grateful for you all. Thank you to all of you out there who have been supporting me so much. Um, I just, I can't even tell you what it means to me. Um, and I don't think I can pull this hat off, actually. I don't under, like, what do people do with these? What are you supposed to do with it? Like, I, I've seen people do this with it, but it, like how I was wearing it, but I don't think I can pull it off, can I? I don't know. Stay. I don't know. I don't know if hats are for me. What do you think? Anyways, um, what was I saying? Oh, I was thinking how far I've come since I started doing these videos, and it's incredible. It is incredible, and it's because of you guys. It really is. It's because of you guys. It's because of my strength, but I get my strength from being so built up by you guys and by other people in my life, and I'm just so grateful for it. Like, so like six months ago and b before that, I was doing like three to 10 times a day, binging and purging. And then now, and then right before, right when I started these videos, I was doing two to three times a day binging and purging, and I was starving, all of that stuff. Um, and now, I'm going days of the week without doing any binging and purging, and any restricting, and any over laxitizing, and all of those things. Um, and so if you think about it, dude, I have come a long way. I know I've got a long way to go, but I'm extremely proud of how far I have come. Like, I just, I can't... And like, I would not have said that four months ago. The person that I was four months ago was not this person. Like I'm gaining this new confidence and respect for myself and even a little bit of love for myself and even a little bit of sorrow for the things that I've been through. And I've never really been sad for myself or what I've been through, but I'm starting to get sad for what I've been through. And that's helping me see that I'm a human being and that I deserve good things in my life. And I deserve to be happy and do happy things and do positive and uplifting things. Things. Like today, I went out all by myself. I went to a few stores um, all by myself, and I just noticed myself so many times in the store walking around, like just feeling really confident. Usually, I slouch over and I try and tuck my butt in because I'm self conscious of my butt. But I was like popping my butt out and just walking how a normal person should walk, and I was like confident with it. I didn't even care. Like it just was amazing and I'm so happy about it and like I'm just seeing such a huge difference and those of you who know me really well, my husband, my family, you know what I'm talking about. Like I was at death's door a few months ago and I was at the point where I just didn't even care about myself enough to live but now I'm at the point where I care about myself. Like that is a big freaking deal. I'm just blown away. Like I can't even, I can't even believe, I can't even believe that I did this actually. Like. Um, I have never ever ever been proactive uh, like I would always go to therapy and treatment or, or outpatient treatment and things like that but I was never really proactive in like actually getting myself to a point where I cared about myself enough to get better or just that I cared about myself in general like that ugh, that's just that's I'm just a different person than I was so I'm so excited and I'm seeing more and more clearly every week that I do these videos I'm seeing more clearly why I had such a strong feeling to do these videos. Um, for me it works and I think I've also found like a new passion kind of, like this is so much fun for me to do. Like at first it was scary and it was a little bit, you know, intimidating at first, but now I love doing it. Like I really look forward to sitting down and talking to you guys about my week and, and like I look forward to giving you good news. I look forward to the fact that if I have bad news that I know that you guys will support me and uplift me and tell me to keep on going no matter what. So I'm just like really, yeah, I'm, I'm just blown away. So yeah, so sorry I'm not at my desk today. Um, it's kind of under construction right now, kind of. Not construction, but like redecorating because I'm gonna redecorate for the fall and I'm so excited because I really like um, like all the seasons. Fall is probably my favorite 
um, holiday, or the season, not holiday, season. The fall is probably my favorite season. Um, because, because it's like the beginning of all of the holidays, like it's the beginning of the holiday season. Um, and I love the holiday season. The reason that I love the holiday season so freaking much is that everybody's nice to each other. Everybody is so kind around the holidays. Like when I go out in public all the time, I try and smile at people, I try and say hi to people, I try and compliment people and uplift them, but I never get it back. Not that I like need it, but it's appreciated when I do get it back. And around the holiday season, everybody is so kind and so outgoing and so courteous and just, I just love the holiday season. It's my favorite time of the year and I'm excited for it. So it might, so, so the day that it turned to September, I was like, dude, I got to decorate my desk for fall. Even if it is still summer to some of you, I'm going to decorate for fall and I'm very excited about it. And I was wondering because I'm thinking, I wonder if I should do some sort of like, um, like maybe a fun video with this. I don't know because I went to the dollar store and I spent $40 and I got 40 decorations and they're adorable and I'm going to deck my whole desk out with them and I was wondering if maybe I should record that and make it kind of a fun video because I'm trying to think how I could like get some more fun into my videos because it's a very depressing topic that I'm always talking about um, and I'm trying to stay positive and the more positive I am the more happy I'm feeling all the time and so I was thinking I should do more fun videos like Danny and I are going to be doing our dumb argument videos coming up he's very busy right now um, so it won't be for a little while but until then maybe I could do like fun Fridays or something and do some kind of fun video every Friday and then when he has time then we'll do the dumb arguments on Friday or I don't know what do you think like these are just thoughts that I'm having that I don't want all my videos to only be about sad topics and hard topics like I want to have fun too so yeah and I'm just I'm just loving doing this and that's just one more thing that I could do that would be exciting and that would keep me from you know binging and purging when I want to like I'll just go do more videos because that's been helping me a ton so anyway so that's why I'm not at my desk long story short except it was long um, so that's why I'm not at my desk my desk will be ready when it's ready I don't know when it will be ready but hopefully soon and yeah let me know in the comments what you think if you can't comment here on YouTube go comment on this video on Facebook um, if you don't have a YouTube account um, go tell me on Facebook if you think that's a good idea. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about this hat too because I can't do that. I can't do the hat. I'm not cool enough to wear one of these. Like everybody, oh, I just can't do it. I look like a smurf, like the smurf hat. You know what I mean? I don't know. Anyway, thank you a million times over. I am so excited to keep on doing these videos and to keep on letting you guys into my life. It has just done more for me than you can imagine and I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Please keep your eye out for more shout out videos. They're just gonna be coming randomly so just keep watching for them and watch for other videos that might come up and pop up and if you're not following me on Facebook, go to Educating Jenny and like my page on Facebook and Instagram but I'm not very active on Instagram. I need to be more so and Twitter too but I don't know how to use those because I'm like old but I'm trying to learn so. Ugh. That was for you, Mom. Anyway, so thank you for watching. I love you so much. Join me for my next video. I don't know when that will be, but for sure it will be next Tuesday and Wednesday. Always, every Tuesday and Wednesday. Join me for my videos and spread me around and spread the love and spread the niceness and the kindness in the world that needs to be spread. And just remember, I know I say this at the end of my videos, but I mean it every single time. You are beautiful. You are worth it. And I am too. Thank you for watching. Bye! I can't do the hat. Nope.